What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and it's grab five time. So we're grabbing five supplies from our stash, and we have to, have to, have to use them on a page. So today we're grabbing something different. I don't know if we've grabbed this before, but I had some jelly printed deli paper. That's a bit of a tongue twister uh, that I had in my stash that I had made ages ago, and I thought I'd use that today. I've also got my stash of wood veneer and I just picked the whole thing. I could have picked just a small bit, but alas, I picked the whole thing because I had no idea what uh, type of page I was doing. I've got these tiny word stickers from a older crepe paper collection that are very, very, very shiny. You can see my studio lights reflected there. I've got these uh, stamps from an old Scraptastic kit club, which are no longer available, but you could, of course, substitute any sort of date stamp or alpha, uh, like a thicker, and also some florals. So let's see what I can do to this photo. So this is a photo of Aaron and all of his siblings on his dad's side. Um, so I wanted to create a page um, because this is a special photo. We don't get together all that often uh, all of us because uh, Aaron's sister lives in America and his brother lives in a separate state and then his other brother and sister live about four hours away from us so it is very tricky to get us all in the one place at the one time uh, this photo was taken a couple of years ago when we had our very first Christmas day all together uh, usually we have Christmas Day on the Central Coast where we live and then we go and see uh, the Toomey side later on or on Boxing Day and this year we woke up on Christmas here. Was that? No, this is a different time. That's just a tangent story I told for no reason. No, this was a different time. This wasn't the Christmas Day. This was after that. Yes, this was after that. All right, back on track with the page. I've got my deli paper and I wanted to use this matte paper that I had been definitely hoarding for quite a while. Uh, I love maps and if you have been a long time inklet or if you're one of my Patreon peeps and have watched me do uh, the map video that I did using some favourite childhood art books, uh, I love maps. It's my thing and give me anything with a map print on it and I shall treasure it. Uh, so this paper was definitely one that I had been hoarding and waiting for the, the right uh, event or special occasion. I didn't want to just use it for an everyday photo. I wanted to use it so that it had a bit of meaning behind it. And I thought it would be perfect for this because, like I said, it takes a while to get us all together and we have to travel uh, quite far distances to all get together. And so I thought it was perfect to use for this. This is quite a busy background and so it did kind of throw me off slightly uh, because I didn't pick the paper until after I had picked the other grab five items and I was a little confused as to how I was going to make the deli paper work because they're quite, they're a bit contrasting in their their patterns. The, the matte paper is so structured and... Um, angular with all of the lines going on and then the mixed media deli paper is very not that way it's uh, very painty and so I tried I thought the little circles would work and you saw back there I used uh, my double-sided <laughs> sticky tape as my very dodgy uh, what's the word template to trace my circles on you could of course use a compass or another circle-y thing that's a little more structured than your tape roll but it, it worked fine. So next now I've got all of those circles stuck on and I've matted my photo. I did trim it down just a little bit uh, because this is a 9 by 12 layout and I didn't have as much real estate going on so I needed needed to squeeze in a little bit of extra space and I also wanted to write uh, everybody's names down because I was thinking that would be the way that I would include the stamps because once again I did I did pick a few tricky things this time um, stamps are something that you know like I've said before 
I do definitely have a love-hate relationship with and I struggle with them, especially number stamps because I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel you can, of course, just use one number, but I always am like, use all the numbers. Is anyone else the same? <laughs> uh, I just, I feel like I want to list things when I have a number stamp and so I needed to make sure that I had enough room uh, to list things. So I've matted my photo with just some really neutral papers. I've got some book paper and I think I used some uh, graph, like exercise book paper. And now I'm just sticking that on. I used wet glue to glue down my circles. Why? Not sure. Uh, looking back, I probably would have used a glue stick. That would have been a whole lot easier and it would have dried smoother and quicker. So if you are sticking down deli paper onto scrapbook paper, just use a glue stick. It'll work out fine. Uh, I don't know why I went for the wet glue. So now I'm going through these giant florals and of course I'm going through them and I'm thinking, oh God, they're so giant. How am I going to fit them on the page? But we do manage to squeeze them in. Uh, and I've decided to post this photo today and this layout today because it's Aaron's dad's birthday today. So happy birthday to Pappy. That's what the kids call him. Uh, so happy birthday, Pappy. And I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch up very soon. Um, but I wanted to, I picked through all of the florals in this pack and decided to go with anything that had bluey greeny tones because luckily everyone in the photo was wearing quite coordinating outfits um, lots of black lots of blue and lots of jeans and so it made it easier uh, to be able to work out a, a color story for this page and I think that helped the background paper not look so frantic and out of place uh, because there are quite a lot of colours going on in the background paper, but because blue is the main one of everything else, it, it all seems to work. Now, honestly, I, I do wish that this layout was a 12 by 12. I think it would have given me a little bit more room, uh, but you make do with, with how the design's going. And I always love to have things falling off the page, anywho. Uh, so I chopped off those leaves, and so it all looks like it's coming together and now it's time for stamping now this is slightly terrifying because I was like mm, this could go very very wrong and I'm just going for it part of me was like oh it probably would be a better idea to maybe stamp onto a separate piece of paper and then cut it out uh, just to make sure that I don't stuff it up alas nope didn't do that so I decided to just go for it and then I'm what um that's my version of stamp cleaning I told you I'm I'm not a good stamper peeps I'm a very naughty stamper I don't clean my stamps and yes I'm very I'm very not well behaved when it comes to stamp care uh and so I thought I'd just go for it and I'm using stays on. Luckily, the pad was nice and juicy because if it wasn't, I don't think my stamping would have uh, worked out as smoothly as it did. And I'm just stamping one to five on these circles uh, and then off camera just to save up a bit of time. I did add some tiny little thickers uh, with everybody's names. And then I'm also just writing how old everyone was at the time of uh, taking these photos. Uh, there's quite a, I think there's an 18 year age gap between Aaron and his youngest uh, sibling. And so I, I really love that Archie and Violet will grow up to have so many aunts and uncles um, because of course I'm an only child. So I don't really bring aunts and uncles to the table. I, I call all of my best friends aunts and uncles because they are, they're, they're like family. Um, but I really like that um, Arch and Vi will grow up to have um, such an amazing supportive set of aunts and uncles. So now I am sticking down just a little label because I wanted to just do a tiny bit of journaling. I didn't need to do too much. Uh, but it needed to be on something. I couldn't have just written on top of the mixed media paper or um, on top of the background. 
it was just getting too busy. Uh, I did write the people's ages with the white uni ball Signo broad gel pen. And I love the way that that looked, but if I had written anything else, it would have been too, too much. So now I'm bringing out some more of that gold uh, in the florally bits and sticking down some of these little tiny words. I think these are from an older collection. Could be Gather? No, maybe older than that. Hmm. They are from quite a while ago. Uh, I'm really trying to use up some of my stash and go through things oh my gosh the wasp is back ah oh, i filmed a voiceover yesterday and ooh, there is a wasp who uh has taken up residence on our front veranda and it's terrifyingly large it would probably be about three inches long it's very very big and it has scary dangly stinger bits and it lives in our wall. It lives in the bricks and we don't know what to do about it. Heidi Shine, shake, 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 Heidi Shine, shake, Heidi Shine. Back on track with wasp talk. Uh, so yeah, is, if anyone has wasp tips to maybe deter them from building a home inside our home, that would be really appreciative. It's not the type of wasp that builds the nest uh, that hangs from the roof. It's a different type of wasp that goes inside holes and because it's not our house we can't uh, patch up all of the holes in the brickwork uh, so it's a bit tricky but yes it just ran into the glass sorry peeps that's right next to me and scared the bejesus out of me oh. so now we're on to the wood veneer I will admit I had forgotten about the wood veneer until the end of this video I was all ready to finish up and then I went oh no more embellishments to add to this already very embellished page and so i decided to use these tiny little people that i got oh these would be six years old or more uh and i got them from studio calico i don't think i i, I definitely don't think they're available anymore sorry peeps um but i've got these little wood veneer people and i just put a little person for every one of his siblings on his dad's side and the page is done so let me know what you would like to see more of over here and i will see you very soon bye